Today's topic is ferritin blood test. A ferritin blood test is a simple test to measure the levels of ferritin in a person's blood. Ferritin is a blood cell protein that stores iron. Iron is very important to the way the body works. The body uses iron in metabolic processes, including creating material for new cells in the body, helping cells manage energy, and carrying oxygen in red blood cells from the lungs to the rest of the body. Iron is also important for healthy muscles, bone marrow, and organ function. Having too much or too little can cause serious health problems if not treated. A ferritin blood test helps the doctor to understand how much iron the body is storing. This can help to find out if the body has the right amount of iron to stay healthy. Why it is done? To diagnose a medical condition. The doctor may order a ferritin test if other blood tests point to possible anemia, which can result in a lack of oxygen in the blood. Doctors can also use it to diagnose restless leg syndrome, liver disease, and Stills disease in adults. When used to make a diagnosis, a ferritin test may be done in conjunction with an iron test and total iron binding capacity, or TIBC, which measures the level of transferrin, a protein that carries ferritin around the body. These tests provide more information about the levels of iron in the body. To monitor a medical condition, if you have been diagnosed with hemochromatosis, a disorder that results in too much iron, a ferritin test may be used to monitor your condition and guide treatment. Symptoms that might lead to ferritin blood test. Symptoms of low iron levels include weakness, dizziness, shortness of breath, restless legs, headaches, long-lasting fatigue, pale skin. Symptoms of high iron levels include loss of energy, weight loss, painful joints, abdominal pain, body hair loss, lack of sex drive. How is the test done? A doctor will take a blood sample from a vein in your arm with a small needle. The skin where the blood will be drawn is cleansed. After the needle is inserted, a small amount of blood is collected and transferred into a small tube or vial. Results. After the blood sample is taken, it is sent to the laboratory for testing. The laboratory technicians analyze the blood and send the result back within a few days. The result may come back as normal, low, or high. Normal ferritin levels. The normal range can vary slightly from one laboratory to another. For men, 20 to 500 nanograms per milliliter. For women, 20 to 200 nanograms per milliliter. Low ferritin levels. If a ferritin test reveals that the blood ferritin level is lower than normal, it indicates that the body's iron stores are low and that there is an iron deficiency. Without enough iron, a person may develop anemia. High ferritin levels. If the ferritin test reveals that the blood ferritin level is higher than normal, it could indicate that there is a condition that causes your body to store too much iron. High ferritin levels may result from heavy alcohol use, liver disease, leukemia, chronic inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, porphyria, a group of disorders that affects the skin and nervous system, hemochromatosis, Hodgkin's lymphoma, multiple blood transfusions, hyperthyroidism. Treatment. For low ferritin levels, oral iron supplements may be required. For severe cases of anemia, an intravenous iron treatment may be required. For high ferritin levels, treatment depends on the underlying cause. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.